Okay everyone, it's Daphne and we're on page one and we're going to install two flaps and they are three, let me double check, four, four by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the four inch side. You're going to need two of those, one for the left and one for the right. Okay, I am going to be layering um, mats on here to add to this page. So we're going to have three mats. We're going to have a five by seven and it's going to be landscape, a six by six, and then a four by six. Now the four by six, I'm not sure what the orientation is gonna be, but you're gonna need those three pieces. So a four by six, six by six, and five by seven. Okay, we're gonna start by just adding this element to the mat, and then we're gonna do the same thing with a six by six, and then we're gonna look at how we're gonna arrange them on the pages, okay? So let's glue these down so I don't repurpose them. Oh, you know what? I need to eat them. Okay. I sure hope I can edit all the noise out of the back, but we'll see. If not, I'm just going to do a voiceover later. Six by six. I think that's just about dry. So pretty. So five by seven. Pull our page uh, one back in. I'm gonna make sure I've got it right side up. There we go, page one. Okay, I, I want the six by six on the cover because it's the prettiest pattern. So I'm planning on put, putting this here, and I believe I'll attach it to one panel or the other. And then I think I'll turn. Six. No, that's going to be hidden. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, whoops. This, is, this goes like this. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. And I think I'm going to still work this six by six in on the flip side of one of these two flaps. But for now, I need to go look at what I'm going to do on these panels because I can't adhere these mats to the um, flaps until I get these covered. So give me a second and I'll get some paper behind me. Okay, I've got these two picked out. So I'm going to go ahead and ink and glue these down and then we can fuss around until we get these um, panels located just like we like them.
look at these real quick. Okay. I'm just thinking I'm stalling a little bit to think about my magnet placement. So I definitely am going to have a magnet under, under this. So I, I'm going to hold off on laying that down because we're going to put a magnet there. There we go. This paper feels so good. It's so thick and luxurious. This blue fern stuff is no joke. Okay, now we're going to place this, not this one, this one here. Look at how pretty that's going to be. I'm just going to eyeball it. It's going to be centered. Um, I'm going to flip it over so I can mark where I want to end my glue. And then um, I'm also going to find a piece of paper to cover here. In fact, I've already found it. <clears throat> I had a scrap left. <clears throat> okay, that's right. So this needs to be six. Where we trimmed. upside down. That's right side up. That's right side up. Okay, now this is going to go in like so. So again, we're going to flip it over and do our little quick mark. See where to put my glue. right on. <laughs> okay, now we're ready for our, our magnets, I think. So we're going to put them, where's my other panel? So this is going to go like so. Is that right? i got to think about this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here's our six by six. I 
have to figure out where it's going to see, you know, if I've got where I'm going to place my magnet. So that's why I'm hemming in on. So I think I'm going to go up here as previously planned. And that means I need to put my magnet down here on this corner. shouldn't have covered that, dumb because we need to put a magnet there. So, as usual, I'm going to use my spatula and lift it and get my magnet under there. This is going to be pretty easy because this paper is really thick. So I, I don't have any concerns about uh, tearing it. <clears throat> I'll burnish this all into place. <laughs> and then... Um, of course, the magnet wants to follow the glue tip out because it's metal. Burnish this into place, then we'll, we'll locate the other magnet real quick. There we go. Need a little tape. Now we're ready to lay in this panel. There we go, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Now we can lay in this. This is nice because it makes for a five by seven uh, photo mat. I want that to be up a little more. It's gonna look like that. Perfect, loving it. Okay. So it looks like about halfway, so I need a piece of uh, designer paper to go on this side. Let's see what I have. Let's use this. So that's what's going to be peeking out from the back side. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And this is from the same uh, piece of paper as this. It's just the flip side. <clears throat> Everything I'm working with is a 12 by 12. And then I also have the, uh, what they call them, uh, in this bits and bobs or the cut aparts that come from okay, so this is going to go on like this so this goes this way okay close this all up and then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put this I like it so I'm gonna draw a little quick corner on there 
because I know where that's going to be. And I can line it back up real quick. There we go. So I was going to add a 4x6 panel, but I'm really liking the way this looks as is. So I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to look for the uh, coordinating papers that are going to go on the inside. Uh, I need a minute to line those up, and then when we get back, we'll put them all in. Okay, I've got some more uh, plans laid out. We're going to put a belly band here in the middle. So I went ahead and put a center line on the belly band and also on the page. So we're going to line these up and, and lay down the belly band real quick. Okay, got our belly. Oh, I didn't tell you what it was. This is three inches by nine inches. Three inches by nine inch, you're gonna score a half inch and eight and a half on the nine inch side. Okay, that's that. Now I've picked out this pattern to go on the flaps and also on the be belly band. And let's see, I've gotta get these lined back up the way they go. There we go. I think I've got everything inked and ready to go. And we'll put a base in and have a nice big insert on this page. Again, we're on page one. I love this. That turned out really nice. Isn't that looking nice? So I need to pick up a, a pattern to go in here and then um, also dress uh, an insert. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a bifold or uh, just a mat there, but I'll make that decision when I come back. We will wrap up page one.
Okay, I picked um, what I'm going to use here, and I, I wanted something that was a bit of a contrast between the three sides. Now, uh, to preserve some of my paper, I decided to split it in half rather than make uh, an eight inch by eight inch wide panel. So I'm just gonna tuck this slightly under, I'm ready to go. And I actually think this is upside down. No, it's not. No, it's not, okay. This is an excellent project for a beginner. Very straightforward. Now I chose this pattern for um, the insert, and this insert is seven by seven, so it'll be nicely framed. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, thank you. You are welcome. There you go. I make mini albums. Thank you, thank you. The paper does all the work. That I don't believe. <laughs> Pretty. But it is pretty. It's really nice. Touch it. It's about how heavy it is. It's like good card making paper. Now, do you follow a template? Or? Actually, I, I design and I do free online tutorials. So I'm actually recording some of what I'm doing. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm going to do a voiceover later. Okay. Um, but I, 